I'm so tap tap, and this is the Crawford family. This is another one of those PS1 um, horror game jam things. It's not actually a PS1 game, it's inspired by PS1. Game saves automatically. So it's got save files. I'm liking that pixely look, I'm liking that. We got options. Graphics, no graphics. Okay, we can have some graphics. I'll allow. Isn't it? That's from Ocarina of Time, isn't it? Or maybe not. There were rumors of the Crawford family snatching up drivers who passed by their home at night. No, it appeared that you're their latest catch. Awaken in a dingy bedroom, unaware of your surroundings, but you can sense that you're in a Crawford territory. With your spirit somehow und undeterred, you get up and advance the Crawford family's fortress of solitude. Oh, neat, and it actually supports PS1 controller as well. Hubba Bubba! That is one solid chunk of man right there. God damn. You know, they, they talk a lot about the, the chiseled jaw, but the amorphous jaw. Woo! That's what gets me wet. That is... I've got a very loose-fitting jacket here. Man, that is... That is a handsome young man. I've got, I've got one of these pocket clip flashlights that is so common in Silent Hill. Obviously, basically all of these games were inspired by Silent Hill, because I mean, what, what else are you going to be inspired by, honestly? Um, got a nice little bed. They were nice enough to, to provide us one of those clip-on flashlights, so... I don't know, the Crawford family doesn't seem that bad. The flashlight is, is a bit better than... Uh, um, Half-Life 1, at least. Such a uniquely poor some tree growing through the uh, house there. Ah, Spooskum's windows. My favorite. Ooh, spooky basement. Oh, I can't go to spooky basement. Spooky basement is one of my favorite biomes. Get, get, you got it. You got to champ. You got. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, you gotta have rusted metal. Creeping, rusty meat. The heart and soul. Oh, I think there's a plant. <laughs> it just looks like rusted metal. You know what? As long as it looks like rusted metal, it doesn't matter what it actually is. That is... That's ominous, isn't it? I, I can't go over the fence. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I can't do anything out here. I just... It's probably a key I need. The creep family does not seem to be very aggressive in policing my use of their space. What the hell? Ma and Pa. There's Ma. Um, wait, what's 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 the name of this thing again? Hold on, the Crossan family, the Crawford family. There's Ma Crossan, Pa Crossan, and there's Miguel Crossan down there with the. Uh, with that, uh, the, the little slightly racist Chinese hat thing. I don't know what he's... They're, they're psycho murderers, so honestly, wearing that hat is probably the least of our worries. We gotta, like, face them in Mortal Kombat to obtain their keys. I've always wondered, do I hold a key that, like, someone, some protagonist must fight me for? I hope not, because that would be really inconvenient for both of us. On-site employee has returned from installing a brand new h &S security... In case this lock malfunctions, goes to call again. I hope it's a new sense of security. Why would you give? Why would you give creepy? Why would you give creepy like face eat people uh, the fancy boy security system? Look at these seventies ass chairs. This is some grandpa. If you have grandparents, they've got they've got chairs like this. I guarantee it. I absolutely guarantee it. Can't go in there. Look at his run animation, though. That is just the combination of that beauteous face and that running. That is a man with purpose. He's gonna he's gonna do the thing. You just watch. I'm not sure if there's an interaction button that I missed, but uh, no, no, it's just like click. But, uh, I don't. I think I might have run out of thing to do. Oh. My face win. I t There's a little hole in the fence. Great. I'm smart. Alright. 
That's not ominous at all. Turn off the generator, Cletus. I, I can't, I can't tell what, if anything, that is doing. Oh, meat bag! Oh, that is actually, that is like flesh meat. That's not, I thought it was plant. Okay. I just thought the pixeliness really adds to the, like, that feeling of what is that? Like, when your stuff is too detailed, It, it kind of reduces uh, the certain aspect of that horror. I think we turned off the... So maybe that is... Meat wall. I See, again, the, this, you, you can't really tell. Which... Just kind of adds to the spooks. Alright, so... Oh! That gave me a genuine start and dead. <laughs> Why is it like... What? What kind of chainsaw is that? It looks like a big one of those pop opener things. That I will admit that gave that did me a frighten. I jumped. I was I was not expecting there to be enemies in this, so to speak. All right, don't go in there. Lesson learned. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Boss fight. This is pretty advanced for uh, you know. Game Jam Horror Game. Also, I gotta do something. I'll oh, get the cheat. Yes! It is broken! You, you, no! Why is it broken? Oh no. Why you do? You cannot drive this. What do you mean I cannot drive this? You cannot drive. Ah. <laughs> Very effective chainsaw. You know, using chainsaws against human flesh is like a really good way to just damage it, by the way. They're really specifically designed for cutting wood. You just... In a zombie apocalypse, really not gonna recommend that you use that. It would just cause problems for you. Okay, so I'm not particularly sure what to do about this. Game does not seem to want me to get a weapon. What? Mouse. There we go. This is meat wall over here. I mean, I gotta go this way. This way is the only way with which to go. He's automatically aggroed. Go in there. This is unfortunately the part of the horror game where, like, it stops being scary after the first time that I die. Then it's just annoying. Because, like, I'm just trying to figure out what to do, and there's a dude chasing me. And. Oh! Oh, I electrocuted him somehow. I think I knocked the tree? I, I don't particularly know what I did, but I'm not allowed to take his chainsaw. Also, their security system is not what I thought. You don't have keys. The security system is that you have to murder them, and that directly unlocks the door. So, I, I'm not sure the ethics of this particular, you know, security system. It is broken. I heard a noise. I don't like it. I'm gonna go save real quick. So the, the button thing, the reason that... I saw that it was quick saving, but I thought it was like... I don't know, let's just save. So we're gonna save. Meat noises. What's in the barn? Well, Vern, check out what's in the barn, man. Nothing, the barn, there's nothing in the barn. All right. Quick save arena. This is for, for a game jam thing. This is this is pretty dang expansive. Oh, there's the mystery hole. You gotta have a mystery hole. Can I go into the mystery hole? Oh, there's like mucus in it. Okay. Ah, basement zone. Clap. 
That is a powerful bear trap. So do we gotta like trick the duder into the bear trap? There's obviously there's gonna be another duder that is attempting to kill me. There's three duders. The three Crawfords. They all yearn to eat my delicious meat flesh. Which will be pretty easy. Honestly, but I, why didn't they just kill me while I was like asleep? Uh, these guys seem very inefficient in their slaughter and I, I would like to speak to their HR department. Because honestly, this is needless suffering and it just causes, you know, extra expense at this point. Just, just very ill-considerate. Alright, we have made it through bear trap zone. Oh. I, I think we just went in a circle. But I can't tell. No, I don't think we did. I think this is new. Touching... Ooh. Not sure what the point of that was. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's electrified. That's that's what the that's what that is. Can I die to this? <laughs> I sure can. I just instantly die from like chicken feed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did that, did, that, did that do something downstairs or something? Did that like drain the pool? The mucus pool or like... No? Can't go that way. I don't... I don't think I can go anywhere new down here. I feel like I was supposed to kill somebody with that. Like one of the crossings. Crawfords, what, what, whatever they are. Did that open something back this wise or something? I, I'm a little bit confused. It wouldn't be a PS1 horror game if it didn't have a confusing puzzle, so I will give it that. What do you mean? I was so, I was like, oh, I found a button. That would be, obviously that was a mistake. Oh, there was a door! Oh! That's, that's my face right now. That's my face right now. Alright. It was my fault. I'm sorry. I couldn't see the, the magic invisible door. It was all my fault. Uh oh. <laughs> She's got her sheep and shears or whatever those are. I guess they're like big old sickles. Okay, so I'm guessing I gotta lead her through a bear trap? When I reload a save. That's kind of butt crap. Which I'm not sure why the chicken feed is so lethal and she's too fast. I mean, maybe you're not supposed to be able to leave here and you're supposed to like go on a loop, but. <sighs> that stupid chicken. Oh! There's a gate here now. Oh, I'm supposed to go out into the cornfield. Well, gotta go out in the cornfield burn. Mm hmm. Mrs. Spooskins lady. Oh shit. I think she just instant speeds up when you, uh. Die to the chicken feed. She didn't die in the chicken feed! I love that the boss battle is like, press button and hope that not die. But you do in fact die. Ah, there you go. Maybe. Um. Was I supposed to like, move her? After she touched the bear trap? Let's try that. Okay, I think you gotta get her in a bear trap and then put her under the chicken feed thing. 
Why is chicken feed so lethal? Is it like, you know, non-organic? Is it, you know, got gluten in it? <laughs> okay, so I gotta, I gotta push that thing under the chicken feed thing. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> not like that. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I'll just put the things. I, I can just put the traps out first. Then have her run around like a chicken with her head cut off. Alright, so this is like facing the wrong way. But like hopefully she's still okay. She does not trigger it. That! <sighs> Let's just put both of these. And hope <laughs> that it works. <laughs> That's... Yeah. If this fails again, I'll, I'll push just the other one that way. Scream. All right, let's go. Okie dokie. Don't you just want to step on a bear trap? Isn't that just how you want to start your day, my friend? There you go. Press the button. Chicken feed. Dead. Dead by chicken feed. Instantly dead. Instantly dead. Okay. Let's not walk into the bear traps. What even is this crop? It's like meat flesh hands crop. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna go save. Don't. That, that, that one is not a save button, actually. Actually, I don't think the green ones are a save button. That, just one, that one just happened to be near an auto save point. So I thought those were save buttons. Alright, it's just Miguel that's left. Nope. Hopefully I don't get mysteriously lost this time. Alright, just one more. Oh, Cletus, uh-oh. Exploding drums caked in, like, mysterious white fluids. Uh-oh. Oh god, he's got the- he's got the- the- the, the rip him up. Oh, this is why I was not allowed to drive this. Drive into the things, Cletus. You drive into the thing, Cletus, boy. All right, so clearly he's supposed to drive into the, the drums, but will he be stupid enough to do so? How do I get him to be dumb? Actually, I don't know if that's. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so that kind that time it kind of worked. Gonna drive my thing, my big weird spinny truck thing right into these there explosive barrels, boy. Mommy Crawford gun done did told me not to do that, but she ain't here no more. So I'm just gonna just drive my stupid truck into it. Why? Why do you insist on living? Cease life, please. Please initiate death.exe. Beep beep. <laughs> How do I make it explode? This one explode. Other ones do not explode. Why? Got him. Rest in peace, Miguel. Gorsh, dang it. Maul is right. Mm hmm. Well, Crawford family is dead. May they rest in urine and die in hell. Like, go to hell and then die, like a second time. Boy, I can't go to Mysterious Basement Zone. I never gotta go to Mysterious Basement Zone! It's a different color, it's cool. Maybe that's the DLC. Alright. It's probably about the end here. Yep, ending zone. We never got to go into the spook zone. You managed to eliminate the Crawford family and leave their property. You return to your company truck with a sigh of relief, knowing you've lived to see another day. While their spirits are broken, yours remains resilient. I think a little bit more than their spirit was broken. Driving off, you look back at the property smirk, knowing a promotion is soon to come. 
They promote me for killing psychopathic crazy old people. Sounds like a good job. That's right, Parker. Thank you for playing the Crawford Family. Game created by Nicholas Lowe for the Haunted PS1 Game Jam. That was pretty dang cool. That was that was my favorite of the, the of the. That was definitely the most in depth one. It didn't give me the biggest. Uh, actually, kind of did give me the biggest spook. I was <laughs> I was not expecting an enemy there. I think Siren Head had a really good design, but I think as a as a little game experience, that was pretty dang cool. I like the meat, the pulsating meat segment. That was that was good. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.